For the last couple of weeks, the command centre for Hurricane Harvey has been based out of the northwest core. Now, because the storm has now moved on and we're moving to a different stage of a recovery process, it was decided yesterday that we should move that entire command from where it was to the Salvation Army's Houston Area Command Centre. So today we're going to go inside and maybe try and speak to some of the people who do the work behind the scenes, the people we don't get to see, the team that make this huge recovery effort possible. Gary Gavin, can I have a quick word? Oh yeah, yeah. How's everything going? It's uh, hectic, crazy, but it's, it's moving forward. That's all that matters. <laughs> Tell me what your position is. What is you working? So I'm our uh, logistics chief. So I'm just uh, buttoning up all those last minute details and making sure we have the resources here that they need to keep serving. Now, have you been working on these type of things before? Is it the first time for you? So uh, first time for something this magnitude. Uh, started out volunteering in 2004, 2005. So I've been around the, the uh, disaster services for a long time. It keeps you busy. I can imagine. How are you coping with the pressure of that? Um, it, it was uh, at first it was really tough, but I tell you what, this is an uh, incredible group of people here, and without their help, I don't know, we couldn't have gotten this done and come as far as we are. I've heard a story of where you know it didn't hit me until I was cleaning out my children's room where I had to throw away all their toys, and this big burly Texas guy, you know, Texas as can be, I just started breaking down, crying to one of our crews. At least people around this table have been seeing this morning. I guess this becomes like another family for you because you guys are very tight. We do. Have a family here. We have a friendship and people that I will be in contact for the rest of my life. The support, uh, the love, the passion around this room—it's uh, humbling to be a part of. It really is. Well, I can see there's people just uh, waiting to speak to you now, yeah. so I'm not going to hold you up any. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for your time. Yeah. I'm Gavin. Please meet you. Nice to meet you. Can we speak to you now? I know you're super busy. Yeah. Can we go be for two minutes? Yeah. Good. Jeff, explain to me your role first. So I'm the planning chief, and so I I help with putting out the situation report, the incident action plan. I also work on kind of analyzing the data that comes in, trying to get in touch with places that need assistance, as well as looking long term as we transition from this state of disaster relief into a sense of recovery. And this is a bit that people don't see a lot of, you know, cameras going, phones going, like the guy next to us all the time. How do you yourself manage to keep on track? The incident command system is very helpful for that because it very much encourages you to stay in your lane. I have my role, and if I don't do my role as efficiently as possible, then everyone else is going to suffer. I guess all, all important parts, but coming together, one yeah. body of Christ. And yeah, <laughs> very true. So I'm seeing as I'm looking around the table and speaking with people that there's a real sense of family working together. You're with the very small group of people working in a very intense situation for long hours of the day. It can be so easy to get bogged down in catastrophic things that you're seeing when you're out there, right? Having to have conversations like, how much longer do you have food for? That's when it's really crucial for that emotional and spiritual care officer. It's nice at the end of the day when they share some of the, the nice stories. It can build you up. We hold true to the fact that the Lord's going to provide uh, for what we need. That's great. I won't take up any more time to be no Thank you very much. Thank you nice so much. Thanks for everything that you're doing. Thank you. Seconds you can spare. Can we sure. have a really, really quick chat? And tell me first of all, Joe, what's your job? My responsibility uh, per the book is gathering all the information for all of the work that the Salvation Army is doing through this incident management team and making sure that it's true and getting that out to other Salvation Army personnel as well as to the public. I guess it's really important that we've shown that we've been really good stewards of the money and how that's been given. What's your part of that? One of the things that we try to do in our unit as the community donates so much much to our effort okay, is to always show them how we're using that donation to make an impact. I think the worst thing you could ever do with a donation is misinform the public of how you've used it. Now tell me about this team. We've obviously we've been in the office sort of an hour this morning. There's so much going on. Oh, there's been times where five, six phones will go off at the same time and we're just all scratching our heads. Don't your phone anyway. Going going on. On. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, many of them have the same ringtone, so it is confusing. Yeah. How do you find um, your work and your faith? How do those two things link? together. Oh, they're, they're in unison. Being involved as a soldier in the church has been my inspiration for staying as an employee, and it's all one thing to me. It's my employment, but it's my church. The mission is what inspires me. So. Well, we appreciate your time. Your computer, as I've been sat here, has probably fired up another 30 emails looking down that list. So I saw a few. I'm not, I'm not going to take up any more time. Thank you for your time. Thank you Absolutely. for your service. Right. And God bless you what you're doing. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. Well, having spent so much time out in the field, it's been great for me today to be able to come inside and see some of the guys who helped to make this happen strategically. 
and in the planned way to get those canteens and to get that need right to where it's happening. For those of you who have already given, I want to say a massive thank you on behalf of the Salvation Army. But there's still more need and we can still do more. So I invite you to text STORM to 51555 or help SalvationArmy.org. From downtown Houston, Texas, on this sunny day, I'm Gavin Schofield-Smith. <laughs>